Welcome to Spirit of Nebraska's Camp Out Plus webinar on knot skills. This webinar will allow you to learn the importance of knots and their uses in the outdoors. We will also offer a helpful resource for practicing common knots. Let's begin. Knot tying is a very useful camping and outdoor survival skill to know. In some situations, you might want to be able to tie two ropes securely together. And in others, being able to tie a loop around a stump or a branch could come in handy. From securing tarps and shelters to hanging your dish dunkers in a tree, there are many knots that can make your outdoor experience easier and more productive. If you have completed an in-person Spirit of Nebraska Camp Out Basic Learning Session, you would have received a Camp Out Basic Guide. In that guide, you will find useful information about knots and hitches and their uses. This guide is an excellent resource for all of your outdoor adventures and is a great companion to this webinar. Welcome to the Square Knot. A common rhyme to remember for tying this knot is right over left, left over right, makes a knot both tidy and tight. This knot is used to tie the ends of two single lines together so they can secure something. An example might be a bundle of objects that is unlikely to move too much. It is intended to be a binding knot when tied in the right material against a curved surface. With both ends tucked or slipped, it becomes a good way to tie shoelaces. It is also appropriate for tying plastic garbage or trash bags, as the knot forms a handle when tied in two twisted edges of the bag. The square knot teaches the fundamental principle of tying a half hitch. The half hitch is a simple overhand knot, where the working end of a line is brought over and under the standing part. Insecure on its own, it is a valuable component of a wide variety of useful and reliable hitches, bends, and knots. Did you know that two successive half hitches tied around an object makes up the common clove hitch? It is often considered one of the most important knots, as it is a simple all-purpose hitch that is easy to tie and untie. The clove hitch is a knot used to fasten a rope temporarily to a round post. However, as a hitch, it should be used with caution because it can slip or can come undone if the object it is tied to rotates or if constant pressure is not maintained on the line. It is also unreliable when used on a square or rectangular post, rather than round. The Bolin knot is an ancient and simple knot used to make a fixed loop at one end of a line. It is one of the most well-known and important knots used in boating and sailing and is often called the king of knots due to its versatility, strength, and stability. It is easy to learn, quickly made, and easy to untie after being placed under heavy strain. In fact, the ability to untie the knot after being under high strain and subjected to harsh conditions makes it very durable. The method for making a bowline is easy to remember. A rabbit comes out of a hole, around the tree, and back into the hole. The lark's head knot, or sometimes better known as cow hitch, is a hitch knot used to attach a rope to an object. It is similar to the clove hitch, except that the second half hitch is in the reverse direction. The lark's head knot can be used as an alternative to the clove hitch. It is great when you know how to tie knots and when you know how to use them, but you are only doing part of your Girl Scout volunteer job if you don't share that skill with your girls. Teaching and practicing knot tying is a wonderful example of letting girls learn by doing, one of our greatest Girl Scout leadership processes. 
We highly recommend using the Animated Knot website, noted on the right, to assist you in learning knots and for teaching your Girl Scouts. The site takes you on a step-by-step -step animated experience of tying whatever knot you want to tie. When teaching knot tying to your Girl Scouts, remember these tips. Number one, know your knots. It may seem obvious, but before you teach knots to others, make sure you know them yourself, inside and out. If possible, practice them until you can tie them with your eyes closed. Also, get to know what a knot looks like from the back and upside down. This will aid you as you face a Girl Scout trying to tie a knot and to check that knots have been correctly tied. You can also have a girl sit and you stand behind her with your hands in front of both of you to teach her how to tie the knot. Number two, provide a 3 16th to 1 4th inch diameter six foot rope for all girls. This length is long enough to practice most knots, including a bowline around the waist, and it's not too long to cause too much trouble. Whether using natural or synthetic rope, make sure it is of moderate stiffness. Number three, begin the process of teaching a knot by describing its use, including its strengths and weaknesses. Sharing the history of a knot if you know it, can also be of great interest to Girl Scouts. Number four, when teaching how to tie the knot, first and most important, everyone gets a rope. Ages five to 105, encourage everyone to participate and have fun learning a new knot. Number five, during the first demonstration, only the adults and young adults should learn and practice the knot. This serves the strategic purpose of allowing adults and young adults some extra time to learn the knot so that they can become your instant experts. In addition, this allows your Girl Scouts to see the demonstration twice before making the attempt themselves. Number six, during the second demonstration, everyone does the knot this time, and hopefully all the adults and young adults will be able to assist in one-on-one -on -one instruction. Number seven, with most kids, knot tying comes down to one-on-one -on -one instruction. Some youngsters will have a natural aptitude for tying knots if they have a good combination of finger dexterity and a nimble mind, or if they have tied knots before. It is a joy to watch these girls quickly learn a knot and then immediately begin to teach their peers a great example of girl-led cooperative learning, one of the other important Girl Scout leadership processes. Much more common are the girls that need just a little one-on-one -on -one time, and then they've got it. Guiding a child's hands once or twice through a knot, like the bowline, complete with the hold, the tree, and the rabbit, is a wonderful experience. But the real reward comes when they come up to you, their face beaming, to show you the knot they tied themselves. Finally, there are those Girl Scouts that struggle to master knot tying. Some of these girls are uninterested, easily frustrated, or simply lack the dexterity to get their fingers to do the right thing. The only solution is to combine large measures of patience and praise and work with them until they get it. Number eight, the best way to learn a new knot is to use it. This reinforces earlier practice and links the knot to practical or playful applications. It's easy to incorporate knots into games, races, or outdoor activities. Be creative and above all, make it fun. If you have a copy of the Camp Out Basic Guide, check out the knot tying section. You will find excellent ideas for girl knot tying activities like knot relays and no peeking knot tying games. Before we offer final information on knot skills, please do us the favor of answering a few questions. First, we need your contact information. Then, you will be asked two quick questions. Once you enter your response on each slide, click the submit button to proceed. We appreciate your cooperation.
Thank you for checking out Spirit in Nebraska's Camp Out Plus webinar on knot skills. This webinar was intended to share the importance of priority knots and their uses and to offer a helpful resource for practicing common knots. Please check out more of Spirit of Nebraska's Camp Out Plus webinars that focus on tents and shelter, hiking, or nighttime activities. And for your added knot enjoyment, feel free to click the rope on the screen for a lesson in Knot Knots with Winnie the Pooh. This is a great video clip to use when introducing the idea of knots to your Girl Scouts. Enjoy!